You look at the Eastern Conference right now, it seems as though there are three teams far above the rest. The Brooklyn Nets, the Philadelphia 76ers, the Milwaukee Bucks. In fact, the gap between three and four is greater than the gap between four and 13. Hmm. Six games hmm. separate three and four, about six, seven games separating four and 13. Wow. Mr. Kyle Korver, the Heat seem like they want to be a team that wants to play in those top three. Do you see any other teams that can make a run to compete with those three teams? No, I, I think those three teams are it for the, the kind of that's top tier. I, I do think Miami can be in there. I think they had a really tough start to the season this year, some COVID stuff, uh, some injuries, I think adding Victor. I think they're, they're in that top four eventually if you want to have a, a top four. Um, but then it's kind of wide open. You know, I think we, we all expect Boston to kind of put it together and make a run. Uh, I think Chicago wants to make a run after, right. after the, the trade that they made. Somehow 0-3 um, after that trade. Yeah. Takes time. Of takes course, time. of course. I know for a fact Miami wants some type of home court advantage. For sure. They probably can't get the three, but they definitely can get the four. And once they get to four, they're going to have a strong hold on that four. They definitely want some type of home court advantage. They want to be playing at home, especially if it comes to a game seven. Even though the fans are still not there and all, but, but still, if you're playing this seven game series, you want to wake up in your bed, drive the way you drive to the game, you know what I'm saying? Right. Get your routine. So they'll definitely be going for that number four spot. What do you think, Way? When you focus on the top three, what stands out about those three teams? Nets, Sixers, Bucks? Well, we talk about the Nets. We know, we, we talk about them all night. We know yeah. what to expect. I think. Philadelphia, to me, is the most interesting team in the Eastern Conference because, you know, all year they've been, they've been pretty much number one in the East. They've taken care of business for the most part. And losing Embiid and still being, keeping themselves in the number two, um, this shows that, you know, what Doc Rivers had, is installing in these guys is, is actually working. So I love to see their progression throughout this year. And I think they're going to be a scary team come mm -hmm. playoffs. And so I'm excited to look to, and, and see Philadelphia once the playoffs start. And if you think that home court doesn't matter, think about this. The Nets on the road are 14 and 9. At home, they're 20 and 6. The Sixers on the road are 14 and 11. They're 19 and 4 at home. So if those two teams are facing each other in the Eastern Conference Finals, game seven, it's going to matter where you're playing the game. Yeah. And you talk about fans, they're starting to trickle in. Nets are starting to get it as these restrictions loosen up. It could be. We're not talking about the Bucks though. And I feel like, you know, they're just sitting there with Drew Holiday getting ready to go. We'll see. Cal? Yeah, That's Kyle. A, <laughs> former think, Buck? Like former I think, Buck? I think they are under the radar this year, and I think that's where they want to be. That's good. Um, I, I think Giannis... Keeps on getting better. I think adding Drew helps them a ton. I think, you know, the question for them has always been when the game slows down and Giannis can't just charge with a full head of steam and get easy baskets, how can they get easy baskets in a playoff game mm. when it slows down? And so I, th I know that um, Coach Bud's been tinkering with different strategies and different spacing. Um, I think adding Drew um, is, is, a, is a big plus for them. That's another person who, who can create a shot for himself, for others. So I, I, I think their ceiling this year is higher than it has been in past years. Um, but I think right now they're just enjoying being where they are in the standings, to be honest. Yeah, they get to be the hunter instead of the hunted. Exactly. Uh, we got some, it wasn't that great. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't that great. <laughs>